Welcome back to the Children's Museum of New Hampshire, everyone. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about what to expect when you visit us. When you first arrive at the museum, you'll be greeted outside by one of our staff people who will give you a brief orientation about what to expect inside the museum. After that, you'll head right into the front desk. Come on, let's go. Your first stop inside the doors of the museum will be in our Purell dispenser where you'll sanitize your hands before heading inside. Then follow me right over to the front desk where our experienced guides will greet you and take your membership card or your payment for the day. Hey, Lena. You might notice that I'm wearing a mask in the museum. Everyone over the age of 24 months needs to wear a mask over their mouth and nose the whole time they're in the museum. We've also set up some new rules. We have social distancing in the museum. We put down blue dinosaur footprints to let everyone know about the one-way flow of traffic through the museum. We have exhibit um, capacity signs in each of the exhibits. So almost all of our exhibits are for one family at a time to explore. We also have a capacity of no more than 50 visitors in the museum at one time to ensure you have plenty of space to explore and play together with your family and friends while you're here. In addition to 17 hand sanitizing stations and 12 sinks, we set up some special cleaning stations with additional hand sanitizer and wipes. You'll also notice that we've made some modifications to exhibits around the museum to keep them as safe as possible for you. For example, here in our Cave Explorer exhibit, we've taken our Explorer vests away and replaced them with washable lanyards with our black lights. When you're done exploring the cave with your black light, we also have used prop bins around the museum for anything that goes in a little one's mouth or items that need attention or have been touched. Hi everybody! In between each session at the Children's Museum, we clean and disinfect all surfaces and we replace the used props in the museum. So I'm going to be using this electrostatic cleaner to clean surfaces and Nina is replacing all of the props right now on the second floor of the museum with clean ones for our afternoon visitors. Even though a lot has changed in these times at the Children's Museum of New Hampshire, a lot of things happen. We hope to see you soon for play, learning, and fun.